All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. In the last episode, we followed the ghost of the beheaded kid who stole Alavander's wand to this cave. And we fought a bunch of spiders, got a bunch of loot. And now we have one of the old geezers, uh, one of the four that originally did the ancient magic stuff. Let's talk to Percival Rackham. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Why is this called the map chamber? I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Are you a seer? The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. All right, I'll bring the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Your connection to ancient magic has unlocked talents. You will receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You have new talent points to spend in the talents menu in your field guide. Let's take a look at the talents. You've earned talent points starting at level 5. You may spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells and increase your combat powers, stealth, and more. Choose wisely. Talent points may only be spent once, so the number of talents you require will be limited. Return here often to see what new and powerful talents await you. Wow. We've got a trophy, the Wise Owl. Very nice. So we've got spells, um, improved spellcasting, dark arts... Increase your ability to the dark arts, overall effectiveness, stealth, and the room requirement, which we have not come across yet. So, I want to up our spells, obviously. Purchase talents with talent points you've gained to unlock abilities. I do. Casting Incendio unleashes a ring of flame around you. Wow. Okay, so we need Defendo for that one. Is, def is this Defendo? No, it's not. Uh... Accio Mastery. Enemies near a target summoned by Accio are also pulled to you. So we can pull a few at once. Yep. Um, and Levioso. I'm assuming we... Enemies near them. Yep. Yeah, makes sense. I like the idea of everyone around me getting burned up. So let's acquire that. Dark Arts. I don't have any abilities with Dark Arts, do I? Dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Well, I don't have any curses. Stupefy is the same effect as a curse on enemies. Cursed enemies take increased damage. That's interesting. If I can do Stupefy and I can curse enemies, that's something. The cursed effect rains on an enemy for a longer period of time. Okay. Stupefy, I can use that. That's decent. That gives me a curse. The Wand Core. Got a bunch of stuff here. Basic casting packs reduce spell cooldowns. Successful Protego blocks will contribute to the Ancient Magic Meter. Perfect Protego blocks contribute even more. This is like the Dodging Badge, or the Bracing Badge in Paper Mario, or those kinds of games. Ancient Magic Throw Expertise. Ancient Magic Throw catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. That's going to be useful in combination with um, Expelliarmus. Swift holding down dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. Whoa! Okay, that's very interesting. 
A new spell set is added. Spell knowledge 2. Hold R2 and tap in a direction to swap to an unlock spell set. What? Oh, oh, I, get, I think I understand. A new spell set is added. Okay, so this is going to let me, like, swap utility spells with combat spells. Mm, I'm fine to do it manually for now. Wigging well heals you to a greater effect. That's decent. Spell knowledge 3. Yeah. Is this spell knowledge 4? No stupefy mastery. Enemy struggles to stupefy remaining stunned for a longer period of time. If I use that in combination with my other stupefy, that might be quite good. I've got 12 talent points available. Wigging well potency. More effect. Yeah. Uh, successfully evading unblockable attack with dodge contributes to the ancient magic meter. That's... Okay, I like that. Blocking a spell with perfect protego will send two projectiles back at... Oh! Oh, I'm loving this. Revelio Mastery increases the range of Revelio. Um, basic cast airborne absorption. Basic cast impacts on airborne enemies contribute more to the ancient magic meter. Wow, okay, okay. These are looking great. What do we got for self? Enemy's ability to detect is reduced. Don't really care about the stealth stuff. Allows you to sprint while using disillusionment. Nah. Enemy's ability to detect is reduced. Nope, no one cares about stealth. And room requirement. I'm assuming we're going to get that soon. This is for Brewing Potion. Edoras Potion makes you invulnerable and deflects projectile attacks back to the enemy. For each Chinese chomping cabbage thrown, a second is generating release at no cost. So two for one. Maximum Potion causes attacks to have additional increased damage and break enemy shields. Okay, so those can be for later. Now, Core, we're going back to this because we are definitely getting the Protego Absorption. Holding down Dodge. I uh, don't need a new spell set. Uh, don't care about that. That I care about. Don't care about Revelio spell. Perfect Protego, yep. Yeah. Ancient Magic Meter, yep. Yeah. Remain stunned for a longer period of time. Wigan Weld heals you to a greater... No, I don't really care about that. Basic cast, contribute, yep. Yeah. Ancient Magic Meter. More spell sets. Wigan Weld increases... Mm, if I get this, does it use a... Okay, I might as well test it. Let's see if it gets both at the same time. No, nope, it's just that one on its own. Um, that's fine. Wigan Weld can keep me in it more. So now here... Dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Cursed effect remains on the enemy for a longer period of time. Uh, so if I stupefy someone, it'll stay on them for a longer time. Okay, we'll do that. Three talent points available. Let's go back to spells. Uh, do I want to up these? Yep. We'll increase our accurate range. And I don't know any of these spells yet, so maybe I'll get them later. Um, I use accurate more than I do Levioso, so I'll leave it there for now. We'll keep two talent points available for any future spells. That's pretty cool. Now exit the map chamber. A talent for spending. Yes, I did do a lot of spending, didn't I? I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Handy Definitely need that flu powder. Field guide. I mostly. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Where is this? Revelio. One of those uh, chomping chests, isn't it? <laughs> Still haven't figured out how to open those yet. Those pies. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Yeah. I don't know if that helps with anything. Revelio. Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Get off here. here. Get over here. Interesting. Rebellion. Rough house of gloves. Gonna want to be selling a bunch of our equipment. To learn De Pulso, the banishing charm, useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. 
complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. All right. It's a task for us to do. Oh, more. I don't have that yet. Oh, did alien keys? I know where you're going. I'm gonna beat you there. Oh, can't you slap? <laughs> oh god. One. What, another Dedalian key? A key. A key, a key. Hogwarts motto, Draco Dormian's Nunquam Titalandus means never tickle a sleeping dragon. Fortunately, this particular sleeping dragon is made of stone and will never awaken. It may be tickled to absolutely no effect. Where are you going? Rebellion. Oh, I've been here before. Gotcha. I think I'm getting the timing down for these. Hello, hello, hello. Gotcha. Incendium. That is the wrong spell to be using on that. Lumos. Where is that? Revelio. Hello, hello, hello. Chocolate frogs. Like left behind by a Hogwarts student visiting Hogsmeade. These enchanted confections hop around like real frogs, and each comes with a collectible card featuring a famous witch or wizard. Here it is. Lumos. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Unidentified face item. Oh damn, I lost the thing. A few moments later. There you are. That was really hard to do in the dark. Age flying around. There it is. Akio. You're a bird. There it is. Akio. Get over here. Hello there. Come on in. Plenty to look at here. What is this? Dung composter. Unlock the ability to conjure a dung composter. Use the great fertilizer that can be used to increase the yield of a seeded plant. Oh. Oh, is this stuff for the room of requirement? Yeah, I'll buy that. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? I don't really have enough for anything else. Maybe this. Nah. And can I sell one of these? Uh yeah, that's got less defense, so let's get rid of it. A pleasure doing business with you. Got a page flying around. Akio! <laughs> Lumos. That's by the dock, isn't it? Huh. Well, that was interesting. Oh, okay. Please get me up here. There you are. Gotcha. There eventually. Hello. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. 
You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If you wouldn't mind. What did you hear about the forest? What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Well, this is a a mission right up Ron's alley. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. Fringes, eh? Looks like it's world map time. And Forbidden Forest. Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? <laughs> there they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Gonna beat into the leeches, though. Revelio. Do it. Hurry up. Hurry up, stupid. what we have here got the trophy follow the butterflies revelio like i said ron is perfectly suited for this task revelio oh please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies i sure do Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? Yes, and I was well rewarded. They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. All right. And that's mission complete. Collection updated, flower box. Level up. Not yet. So we have flying class, but we have Professor Sharp's assignment. And I'll get to Pulsar by doing that. Makes me think. Yeah, let's do Professor Sharp's. And surely those were curdled. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire Maxima and Adurus potions and use them simultaneously. Oh. Well, do I have enough equipment to actually brew something? Ah, oh, I still need flux wheat stem. Do you let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Yeah, you could. Um, we're gonna need a focus po oh my god, five hundred! Right, Ashwinder eggs. A wise decision. Thank you. Any of them troll bogies. Oh, still need flux wheat stem. Damn it. Right. At the very least, I can get an Edoras potion. Right, we'll have to complete the assignment later when I get the flux wheat stem. For now, I'm going to have to go do flying class. Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. 
Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. All right, I'm on the broom. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are I I school my own property. Room. I want them returned in one piece. This will take some getting used to. This is fun as hell. I'm a Quidditch master. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? What would you have me do? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! It's fast, but nice it's not that fast. I'm sure we can increase <laughs> our speed. <laughs> this is rather fun! We. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> is basically just holding down R2, but it lets me do it indefinitely. You stupid, what are you doing? Okay, yeah. probably better if I keep using R2 than I release it. So L3 is like when I click it, it's just holding down R2 all the time. <laughs> I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? I like the sound of that. Won't we get in trouble? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. Oh, ready to lovely issues, as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Get back nice here. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. 
Ah. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, L2 for any bigger burst of speed. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Oh, that's loud. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best Can't look for back. any pages if I can just Accio. Can I even do spells while I'm on my broom? In our brooms. Dismount here. Get down here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Hey, you were watching us, so it means you approve, which means we won't get our points deducted. It will be increased. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Sweet. And I don't know why you just did a little hop there, but very nice. If I could afford the new Bright Spark broom at Spintwitch's, I'd be on it now. Spintwitch's is open in Hogsmeade. All the latest brooms I hear. That's that I need one. The broom I have at home is the latest model. I wish I could afford my own broom. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. I do like Madame Kagawa. She's been tutoring me after class. Although she is very strict when it comes to broom safety. Madame Kagawa about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Ravenclaw should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Like right now? Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on Ooh, your studies. Oh, that sounds like the room requirement. Eyes and distractions. Right, two things to do. So little time. I think room re requirements the thing we're gonna have to do. Do that. Yeah, conjuring a vanas card conjuring spell. Ah! Ah! Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. 
Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might Revelio. come upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. But there's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Fair enough. Triangle. X. Square. Triangle. Evanesco. Splendid. Now, cast. That is it. Oh, is this it? As a regular vanishes items and returns moonstone when cast within the room of requirement. Go on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I have a floating candle. Isn't that part of the uh, map for that Where treasure? in Merlin's name is that elf? Another candle. Revelio. Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had gone. Hey, I waited for you here for ages. Can't Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches here. of parchment than you expected. I'll Let me know if you want to try and meet again. Quick look at this. See. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Expelliarmus! Bitch. Shut up. Revelio. Globes must be spun. Oh, another one. More Moonstone. Revelio. Accion Revelio Slap, slap, slap. Let's go in here. Oh. Can't can jump on this corner. Let me get somewhere. I'll bring it back here. Jump on it and then float it. Let me also. Jumper school uniform, but that should do. Okay, cool, cool. Hey! Revelio. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Oh, I've got to stop leaning on my headphone cable. Keeps making the audio come Sugar, out of it. Stop them! <laughs> no, not. Uh that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Rebellion. Hmm. Seen one of those before. 
bit offended the room. Thought I needed a bath, cheeky thing. A whole bunch of stuff. Revelio. Don't know if there's anything useful. Yes. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Revelio. Off. Bewitched. Kill it. Or moonstone. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Huh. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> I can get over it. Come on, surely I can get on top of that. Six and a half hours later. What the hell did I just climb on? It kinda worked. Unless okay, that makes sense actually. Let me I'm gonna drop, drop down, drop down. Day two. Akio! Oh, this bloody ding is. Oh, come on. I know how to get over it now. Day three. Oh, surely we can jump over it here. Oh. Oh. Akio! I got it! Yes! I finally got it! It took me like 10 minutes. Now, about the golden snitch, I can't really get that yet, so maybe I'll get it later. Oh, of course, there's a flu powder thing. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest.
You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. I look sick. Ah! Rebellion. And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. And I have several. Silent mask, outland dueling gloves, and a tan cloak. Sweet. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Two powder. Yes, that's uh. Why is it not activating? It's really so talkative. Right, what next? I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. All right, conjuring spell. Let's go. X. Square. Triangle. X. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. All right, wondering spell. Oh, we're going to need to get this thing. Conjure items into existence when cast within the room of requirement. It's only within this room. All right, we got four things. Potions, items used to brew potions. All right, let's start with that. Small scientific potion station. Ooh, okay. Move it around. Potion stage and budget. Complete more quests to increase conjuration budget in the room of requirement. Small scientific potion station. I got loads of moonstone. Cool. I'll rotate it. Don't want the fire coming like that over there. Botanical station. Eclectic. And gothic. You can disable snapping as well. But I'll rather keep it where it is. And colour. Ooh. Nice ball. Alright. So potions are green, in my opinion, so they shall have the green colour. As in generic potions are green. Wait, I'm not quite done yet. Abology. Aha, yes, I bought a few of these. Scientific potting table with three small pots. Oh, we need some space for it. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Botanical table. Electric table. That's the gothic. So these are just designs. Alright, we'll keep it scientific for now. Change the colour. 
We'll have this be yellow. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Oh, okay, I can reach my budget. Okay, well, let's just back out. Unless there's other things. Decorations, maybe? Utility? Desk of a description? Desk with duties identified. Already conjured one, haven't I? I really want another one. Wall hanging, decoration. No one cares about any of these. We just want to brew potions and grow plants. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I'd like to know more about Deke. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use transfiguration magic anywhere? Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. All right. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Another one. All right. I mean, you might as well teach me while I'm here. Rugs, chairs, all this stuff. Well, let's actually get some things brewing. One of these on. This. Answer? It's an we got Dickney growing. Oh. Well, in that case, we'll leave these blankets so we can get some different potions, different ingredients. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the I lesson. I've got plenty. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? All right. Decorations, wall hangings, a long mirror, a winged mirror, an oval mirror. Look at the long mirror. Place it. Must be placed against a flat surface. Give me much options here. Oh, like this. Okay. Sure, why not? Uh, uh, let's put this around here. Rugs. Two thousand years later. Oh, okay. I have to have five <laughs> of each. Sure, why not? 3.28 a.m. Good work. Shall we move on? Yes, please. What a waste of Moonstone. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Let's go. Triangle. Where? X. X. Altering. 
Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Alter the physical forms and features of items when cast within the room of requirement. Huh. Alter the style or change the color. I guess the size. Uh. Let's change it to red. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Whoa. The dark blue. I'll go with black. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? A cool, moonlit ambience sounds perfect. I like something natural and earthy. A focus best in a room that's dark and mysterious. Go with that. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. All right. Press complete interior decorating. Collectibles. There's Deke. I brew something else. Need any of that? Oh, okay, I see. So maybe I can customize the space and put some training dummies and stuff here. Pretty cool. Nothing else to discover. Nope, no identified gear. Oh, speaking of gear, let's check out what we got. Blue gloves, level 20. Wait for that. Outfits. Worse. Oh, something that we haven't taken a look at are these challenges, because I've been doing loads of them and they've been giving me rewards. If we go to here. We can see uh, Dragon High Protector's Cloak if I claim it. Defeat 10 Dark Wizards. Uh, gear Appearance Reward Protector's Ensemble. I can't get that just yet. Amphibial Protection. 
don't know what that means. I don't have it yet, though. Spider Slayer armor. Spider Slayer helmet. Wait, where did these go? That's the... Because I don't want them to just um, be something I have to sell later. Asylum Mask. Oh, look at that. Scorching One. Increased damage with Incendio. I'll definitely want to switch over to that. Oh, hell yes. That's like Shredder. That was the Tan Cloak that was revealed. Oh, yeah, and that was the other thing. That's got manipulation. Imperial Target does extra damage. So, I've got to figure out how I can get these extra abilities on there. Here we've got Back of Note, Fireplace Note. Some more ingredients. Grab talents. I've got three talent points. I must have gained one from somewhere. More challenges. Defeat 10 mongrels. Great trait recipe award. Lupus protection. Defeat 5 dueling feats. Officer's uniform. Officer's hat. Where do I get... Like, how do I equip them? Quests. Complete two assignments, top of the class scarf, top of the class ensemble, don't have that yet. Legendary gloves. Look at all this stuff. It would be nice to know where these things are. You know what I mean? Like, where do you equip them? Definitely not here. That much I can tell you. Solve the hardcore secret, a bathing costume. Steel page guides. Oh, we got a lot of this. Zonko's sheep pranks the spectacles. Pranks the hat. Pranks the coat. Galia. 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 And we got a Hylian Explorer cap. And one more thing for quest. Yep. Combat. Anything else? Grabbed everything that we can. All right then. Now we're gonna meet Sebastian in the Undercroft. Oh yeah, we won't be needing these uh, conjuration spells. These can only be used in the room of requirement. This thing. So when we're out and about, we're gonna to want to switch back to normal. Incendio. It's beautiful. No page guide. Over here. Yeah, I see. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Bitch, I've been to the Undercroft. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous... Rebellion. Friend. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. All right, before I talk to Sebastian, I've got some more gear. Got another mask. Protection goggles. They are pretty good, but this is way cooler and better. 
for the outfit. We need to identify that one. And for our headwear. Oh my god, this actually is a better hat. Wait. Yes, we are with this one then. Looks ridiculous, but we do what we have to do. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them. As he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. That's ridiculous. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. ZZ to Z. X. Triangle. X. X. Square. Like the Marcus Zorro. You're getting it. Ready to actually try oh, it out? Hell yeah. Stick to the. I don't want this. Long range bot that deals damage on impact. Enemies hit with five base attacks will continue to take damage for a few seconds, during which time collisions. Will result in incendiary burst. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! I think I've got it! Confringo! Well done! Not bad. This is way better than Incendio. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. It's almost too much. Ready for more spells like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I'd be glad to. I don't want to impose. Oh, you know what? I will. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me about the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. 
as I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I'll tell you the truth. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Hell yes. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Uh, this guy's my favorite character, Sebastian Salo. Right, let's leave. Eee. Oh, it's not one of them. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe you have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Sebastian showed me. I stumbled upon it. Uh, hmm. You know what? He lied for me, I'm gonna lie for him. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Jeez, I promise not to say anything. No need for threats. Yeah, bitch, you're gonna threaten me. I'll confringo you. You didn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. All right. <laughs> in the shadow of the Undercroft. Right. Wait, what the hell just happened? He just disappeared? He didn't even open the Undercroft? No one around here is going to stand for that. But you, you're not even... How did you... I don't... Oh my goodness. Oh no. What's happening in this game? All right, let's read this mail. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Yeah, it certainly has. It's bared a lot of fruits. So with that, I think we should end the episode. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time for some more Hogwarts Legacy. Take care.